isang energetic na araw naman ito mga ka-Web3 crew dahil bagong episode, bagong kaalaman at bago ang aking outfit. Pa, diba? This is Krista. Two moons, two moons, to the moon. Siyempre, bawal mag-ingay dito. Eto na nga, sabay-sabay tayong matuto about the world's first social-infused exchange. Buy, sell, trade, at paano mag-hold ng crypto? Alamin ang lahat ng yan dito sa FOMO, The Future of Money. Kayo ay into digital technology, lalo na ang cryptocurrency, blockchain, digital investments. Perfect ang episode na ito para sa inyo. Ang XT.com ay isang comprehensive trading platform na nagsusupport sa mahigit na 1,000 trading pairs at 800 plus high quality tokens. Ano ba ang token? Technically, token is just another word for cryptocurrency or crypto asset. Napakaraming potential functions ng tokens mula sa pagtulong gumawa ng decentralized exchange hanggang sa pagbebenta ng rare items in video games. Ang mga tokens, they can all be traded or held like any other cryptocurrency. Andito ako ngayon sa 48 Birch Gate, Dubai para mag-attend ng 10th edition of the XT Rendezvous Meetup series. Sama-sama tayong matuto, makipag-exchange, makipag-diskusyon, kasama si Xiao Xia. Good evening everyone, it's a very special night, it's a very special day for us because we are celebrating the 10th round event. And as you know, 10th is also X, and we are XT, so it's a very special night. And for this very special night, we actually welcome a few guests and a few projects to share with you. So the idea was to make this round a little bit special make it more like insightful and deliver some high quality content with our friends and partners. So we have a very special guest that is coming all the way from Asia that just arrived on 20 years the night. His name is Shaosha and he's actually one of the biggest crypto traders today in Asia. Because I understand the the of the in 2021, the Dogecoin skyrocketed a hundred times because of Elon Musk. He made a tweet back then and all of the various crypto coins went up in pricing. I connected with international traders and launched XT.com to start our journey in futures trading. Since established in 2018, XT.com has achieved a zero-based kind of ratio and is committed to continuously providing a safer and more reliable trading platform for the global cryptocurrency investors. Whether you're new to the cryptocurrency and blockchain domain or a seasoned veteran, okay lang yan kasi dito sa event na ito, malalaman on how we could really make the financial industry more accessible, cheaper, faster, and easier. Tara, at sikahin na natin ang mga attendees at ano ang masasabi nila sa future ng finance. Mga ka-Web3 crew, eto na nga po ang sinasabi kong exciting part dahil makakausap natin ang CEO of XT.com, the one and the only. I'm good, thank you so much. <laughs> and let's talk about the company. Um, can you tell us more about XT.com? Yeah, sure. So basically, we are what we call the first social infuse exchange in the world with more than 6.5 million users, with a presence in more than 10 countries, with a team of 100 people around the globe, and we are committed to build an open financial system to the world. What sets XT.com apart from other crypto exchanges? So as I said before, we try to introduce more what we call the social infuse 
trading functionalities. So we partner with a different type of apps that allow, for example, what we call group trading. More recently, we launched what we call copy trading on the platform. So it's basically onboarding famous master trader or KOL and let our user to reproduce the move of the famous KOL. So by bringing all these functionalities, it helps us to build something that is more like community based because we believe that at the end, Rape 3 is all about the community. A current projects, do you have any current projects and future plans? Yeah, so for example, today we are in Dubai because we decided also to be the global presence around the world. So coming from Asia, we decided to set a presence here in Dubai because we believe not only the potential of the region, but also using Dubai as today a new capital also for Web3 and crypto in the world. So it's the perfect opportunity for us to be here and to keep recruiting people and expand our network of friends and partners. I have one question for you. What do you think is the future of money? Well, for us, the future of money is definitely to give back the power and the control in the pocket or in the hands of the people. And before, you know, in the traditional world, everything was controlled by the powerful institution. But today, through cryptocurrency and Web3 and blockchain technology, it helps people today to keep more freedom and control about their own money. So it's quite fantastic for everyone. Mga web 3 crew! O, oh, diba? For the energy na naman ako dahil isa na naman po sa ating mga speakers kanina ang ating makakausap. Eto na po siya, Mr. Gregor. I'm good. It's a great event. Can you please tell us more about your company, Swarm? Yes, so uh, Swarm is a decentralized storage and communication project that was started in 2015 within the Ethereum Foundation to, uh, as the idea was to be the world's hard drive to the world computer. Uh, in 2020, Swarm graduated from Ethereum Foundation and uh, became uh, its own project. We are a non-profit project located in Switzerland and uh, end of last year, uh, after years of research and development, we reached an important milestone where uh, we released uh, new storage incentives that reward the operators directly. Um, and yes, uh, the long journey has completed, but a new exciting journey is starting now. What do you think is the biggest impact of Swarm to Web3? There is no Web3 without decentralized storage, you know. When you think about it, uh, it's uh, when we speak about NFTs, about open metaverse, about any decentralized frontends or any other applications, they need decentralized storage to complement the blockchain. We cannot store this on uh, an NFT on somebody's server and they decide to turn off the server and uh, the NFT is gone. So decentralized storage is less known to the general public, but it's important part of the infrastructure of uh, Web3. Advantages of uh, using Swarm? Well, first, Swarm can be very easily installed. One just installs Swarm desktop app, uh, two minutes and you're ready to go. Uh, compared to other solutions, Swarm is the most centralized, privacy centric uh, and is censorship resistant. Uh, in a way, uh, Swarm is unstoppable, similar as blockchain is. In your opinion, how Swarm will change the investment of uh, the mindset of people? Things are here changing, uh, I would say quite a lot. Uh, we hear now uh, more and more people are using the phrase DPIN, which stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Networks. And uh, uh, I would say every investor uh, is aware that uh, infrastructure is the key uh, uh, foundation uh, for also other projects to succeed. So uh, in the times of a bear market, uh, looking at infrastructure projects might be more relevant than maybe at applications. Any specific networking or collaboration opportunities that you are hoping to explore? Uh, with Swan we say that we, our mission is to empower digital freedom uh, by making data unstoppable. So any project that uh, looks uh, how to improve the world, uh, how uh, we can use data for the betterment of humanity, uh, is more than welcome uh, to contact us and uh, let's discuss how we can improve things. Do you have any advice for uh, our viewers who's not into Web3 yet? 
be mindful about your data. Your data does have value and it will have more and more value in the future. It seems like uh, it does not hurt us to leave data around, but um, it can have consequences also in the future. So privacy is important. So mga ka-Web3 crew, eto na nga po at sobrang feel na feel ko ang pagiging matangkad ko sa totoong buhay. Nakakangawit. Eto na nga, isa po sa ating may interview she's a professional model. Hindi ah, nyo kaya, professional model. Miss Anna. Hi Miss Anna, how are you? Hi Kuya. <laughs> Lalaki pala ako. <laughs> Kuya pa nga. I'm a girl. I'm ate. I, I, well, still, it can, can be. Can be cut it. I don't know how. <laughs> no, it's okay. What inspired you to attend XT.com? And I'm trying to get it into the metaverse. So, uh, I know nothing about crypto. I'm kind of not discovering this market. And this is uh, the best way to... Uh, introduce myself to the market and also to get information to get networking some connections and i think this is uh, this uh, events uh, is the best uh, way to get into this world okay let's talk about this event overall experience how would you rate this event and would you attend similar events in the future I participated in a lot of events on the crypto uh, thematics and I would say that this kind of boutique style suits me more. Mm -hmm. Less people, more cozy, uh, you have less people to get into the connections, you have uh, more like, uh, I don't know, focus to the speakers because all these big events, they are too crowdly. Mm -hmm. to, um, uh, too many speakers, too much information, and I'm like going step by step, but still it's hard. Mm -hmm. And especially for the girl to go into this hard world. But I'm trying my best uh, and I will ask help. For example, I don't know about this, can you explain me? I, I'm not ashamed to, to ask. Yeah, 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 of course. Even me, I'm not really that much into Web3 yet. But I'm studying. It will take me, I think, 12 years. Mga ka Web3 crew, kausapin na natin isa pa sa ating mga attendees tonight. Hi, what's your name? And can you tell us your profession and the company that you are working with? My name is Sanki King. I work as a Web3 and blockchain advisor independently. And I also represent Mindkicks Labs and Epic Jam. These are Web3 agencies uh, based out of Dubai. I got into Web3 almost two years ago. Before that, I have a very successful art career. So I'm a painter. My last exhibition was at the Louvre Museum in Abu Dhabi. And I've been, painter, I've been a painter for almost 20 years now. And I used to do a lot of console gaming and PC gaming as a kid. So when I got introduced to Web3, I used to do skin trading on Steam for Counter-Strike. So yeah, that's uh, how I got into Web3 and uh, crypto. Why did you choose Web3? I've been an artist all my life and have been a gamer all my life. But in Web3, I saw the security for gamers. Like for example, if you're on Steam and you, if you have, let's say, a thousand dollars inventory, but if somehow your account gets banned, you have no ownership anymore. It could be ten thousand dollars, it could be a hundred thousand dollars. So once an account is gone, it doesn't matter if someone banned you, like if you were banned because someone sent bots on your account or, or if you didn't do anything wrong, but now the account is banned, you can't get anything back. So I really um, felt um, secure about Web3 that not just in CSGO, but now, for example, digital art in NFTs are an evolution of digital art. So now you're art is safe as well. So safety, security, and Web3 gives you ownership of your assets, of your creativity, even if you're a dancer, musician, whatever. So this is what initially got me interested in Web3 and now I'm here almost two years in, in the industry. Hello guys, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, good, fine. Okay, I know I'm very excited about the collaborations that you're doing, but can you please tell us about more about your company? Okay, so we are in uh, we are in Gabema Academy. What we do right now, actually, we are educate people who are we call like a man, layman, 
who don't know anything about cryptocurrency, mm -hmm. uh, especially mass market, right? So uh, we start during pandemic uh, in 2020, okay, we managed together all 1.4 million users, mm -hmm. all right? And active user, 30 to 40% active user. So previously, what we do, we teach them what is the basically of cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. And also, now we have new technology like Metaverse and NFT. So we collaborate with four uh, platform, four platform. But uh, as you know, uh, education is important thing in uh, crypto industries, right? Otherwise, they are people when they are lose their money, they are always thinking they have been scammed. All right. So when we educate them, we have class, advanced class, uh, introduction class, so they know what they're doing. And also in the crypto industry, also they have a high risk, as considered like a high risk investment if you don't know anything. And also uh, many platform outside there is can be scammed, they are, they are still the money, everything, so non-established exchanger. So what I'm doing right now, so we come to Dubai, we meet the vice president of xt.com uh, exchanger, so we want to collaborate because we want to propose our uh, new token, uh, utility token, uh, uh, with uh, academy, you can get and you can earn uh, passive income. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, can I ask you a personal question? But you can just whisper it to me because you didn't, you didn't uh, launch the token yet, right? Can you please whisper it to me so I will be the first girl who will buy? You mean the ticker? You mean the ticker? Okay, okay. Whisper I think I will be the first one to uh, buy that token. Anyway, do you have any advice or how do you safeguard your, you know, your, your, uh, how do you safeguard your crypto against all the scammers? Okay, first and foremost, knowledge. Like what he said, knowledge is the foundation of getting into crypto. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, after knowledge, when it comes to securing crypto asset, know the difference between decentralized and centralized and different wallets. Mm -hmm. So then um, you can go back to that foundation again. Even with centralized exchange, you know how to mitigate the risk, mm -hmm. right? So I think there's a basic law. Knowledge then comes in the power of investing and trading, then comes to the power of knowing what platform to go into. And after that, even with the high risk platform, you know how to manage and mitigate your risk. Imagine this. Instead of dealing with traditional money and assets, pupunta na tayo sa digital era kung saan ang lahat ay pwedeng represented as tokens on a blockchain. Tokenization is like turning real world stuff like properties or artwork into digital tokens. At dahil sa blockchain technology, ito ay sinasabing secure, transparent, at madaling i-trade. It's not just about making investing more accessible. It's also a game changer for businesses. This is Krista, encouraging everyone to join the Web3 revolution. Samahan niyo uli ako next week for more info and updates on the world of Web3. This is FOMO, the future of money.